Welcome YouTubers, back for another edition of Gaming with Banana. We are doing Cards and Castles, and we are playing with our Warrior Ninja Awakened deck. So far it's shown we've done pretty decent with this thing. We're going to jump in on the next battle and see where we're at. Alright, Toma, Tomasu. Uh, you know, those aren't that bad of cards. They're expensive, but we're going to go ahead and hold on to those. Again, um, Awaken means um, the ability written after it goes into play on the following turn. Initiative means it happens instantly as the card is played. Uh, we will do the Hasten City Guard next turn. Once we have enough gold. You know what? There's some pretty decent cards. I will take them. Um, have him move there. And we will have him move right here. Looks like we're going against a blue-yellow deck. A Viking Knight deck. Which, the yellow is really good for... Uh, it has a lot of healing. The blue has a lot of freezing and chain lightning. So we're going to go with him. <clears throat> uh, we're going to move him up too. I'm just going to leave the other ones where they're at. We'll get a minor spell from our Mage Apprentice next turn. Hopefully we can have Headwood come out soon. So once he starts bringing things out, we can go ahead and that does two explosive damage to two random enemies. Damages the enemy and its surroundings. And if y'all enjoy the gameplay footage, enjoy watching um, the deck get played out, would you please hit that subscribe button and like? I appreciate that very much. Give units plus one attack or plus two if you have a dwarf. Fine. Awaken. We're going to move him right here. We don't want anything connecting because a blue deck has lightning, and if things are touching, the lightning hits everything that's attached to it. But we're going to bring out our Masuta. We should have used dwarven weapons before we hit, but it's all good. We're going to end our turn and see what they got in store for us. He's got enough cards over there, jeez. Three, six, nine, ten cards. Sheesh. Alright. I was thinking later I would make a green and red deck. I do like the awakening skills, but there's some good bleed skills in the green. Last will gain a minor spell card. Okay. Stun a random enemy unit. Okay. Alright. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful on the awakening effects. So we're going to put Professor Headwood out here. We're going to keep him back there. Uh, we basically can awaken him four times. It's crazy. Go ahead and hit that. We're going to move him up here. He's stunned. Um, we're going to wait and not awaken him. I'd rather him put out some creatures, and then we'll just down him real quick. As long as he does not get rid of my Professor Headwood. I don't remember what Resolve is. Uh, 
uh, the first time it would die. Well, now he's dead. Let's move him up. Go ahead and hit. Take out our Salazar soldier. And we're going to move him up. Let's awaken him again. That way, next turn, we can awaken him one more time, and that should take care of him. Shield runner. Bam. Ow. Plus one, plus one. If he hits siege, means if he hits a building or if he hits the castle, siege means that ability written after it goes into play after that. Let's put that one out. Why not? Boom! Boom! And we're gonna finish him off. Boom! And that's the power of the Awakened Dead. Woohoo! Victory! Sweet! That was a fun battle. Thanks, guys, for joining in with Gaming Banana. Gaming, gaming Banana. I am a Gaming Banana, but Gaming with Banana. Appreciate you tuning on in for this battle. We'll catch you on the next battle. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you tuning on into this video. Banana out! Banana, banana.